everyone, welcome to a really silly video. Today I'm going to be um, making a charcuterie board for a friend. Um, and of course I'm extra, so that meant I have to buy the board and the knives and I wanted to engrave them. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm that girl. So um, what I've done here is, my friend's name is George, so I did go into Canva and pick a font that I liked that I thought was fun. Um, and I kind of lined everything up with uh, my my bit and bob down here uh, to make sure that it's gonna fit in the area that I want. I just kind of want it in the bottom, like like corner of the, um, like so if this is the board, I kind of just want it down here. Um, so I think I've lined it up to where I want it. I'm just gonna hit frame and double check that. And I'm just gonna make sure that uh, it's not like overlapping anything that it's not supposed to. It's relatively straight. I've done this about four times before I started this video, full disclosure. Everything looks lined up pretty great. Back up here, we can see that it's going to take approximately eight minutes and 15 seconds to do this entire thing. So I've got my protective eyewear on. Um, I'm not gonna touch this thing, but I am gonna head up here and just hit run program. I'm just gonna do one pass. That should be all it needs. If I need another one, then I'll do another one. And start. And it's starting on its way. You won't be able to see when I flip over, but there she goes. And look at that, look how pretty. Now I'm gonna go give this a quick, I'm gonna go give this a quick wash, I think, uh, just to make sure that the dust kinda doesn't get all over. Uh, and we're gonna start assembling our cheese. So here's kind of everything I got. This came with some like little legs for the bottom of the tray that I'm going to pop on. Um, I also got my matching wood knives, which I think are gorgeous, and they came in this cute little gift bag, gift box rather. So I'm gonna keep this off to the side. Here is kind of our final look on the board. A little hair loosen in here. I think it looks pretty good, but I am gonna flip this as well. I would like to put these little grips on the bottom. As I'm scrubbing, I'm getting kind of this black stuff. As you can imagine, that's just the uh, soot from the burns. And I'm just kind of rinsing it off, giving the board another scrub. Quick clean, nothing crazy. I'm gonna dry off the board now. You can see even as I'm running over, really nothing's coming off, save for maybe just like a little bit on here. And I just wanna keep this nice and dry. And I think the engraving turned out super good. I did do like a quick look at like what kind of cheeses to get. Um, and it said to do like a mixture of textures and um, flavors. I think my most unique cheese is this Cheddar Gruyere, which is a roasted red pepper and cracked peppercorn. Um, cheese. I think I'm gonna cut this into slices. Um, I have this mozzarella log here that I'm also going to cut into slices. I have this soft ripened brie, which is an extra creamy cheese. Um, and I'm gonna do this one I think in wedges. Um, it's definitely a softer cheese. Um, and I considered, um, I see, I've seen some where they put like honey on top of this, so I don't know if that's the move I want to go for, but it's definitely, it's definitely a soft, soft kind of cheese here. So I'm really going for like big mixture stuff. Here's my wet cheese, if you will. I also have some meats, I have some salami, and some prosciutto. Alright, bits and bobs are getting all chopped up. Now I'm going to do, ah, my prosciutto! I am going to do a salami rose. So I've got like these thin slices of salami, and I've seen this done before where you can make roses by kind of just folding it over top of a glass around and around and around. This is a really big glass for this, I'm realizing. And of course, now it's dirty. I want like a tinier one. This is like such an ugly look. Oh, I ate it. Okay, um, so yep, kind of press it in there. And now we're just gonna flip. And we have a salami rose that is far more impressive than I originally thought it was going to be. Holy hell. So this is what happens after it sits for a while. But what'll keep it is something on either side of it. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to do these last. 
which is fine. Um, but I think I'm actually just gonna have to start assembling the board, which is terrifying. <sighs> so let's do it. Before I do anything, I do want to layer some plastic wrap over the bottom of this. Because like I mentioned, I'm actually taking this where it needs to go tomorrow. So if I can lay the plastic wrap underneath now, I can kind of just wrap it over top a little later. I really don't know why I haven't called my best friend to help me with this because she does this all the time. She makes cheese boards like 24 seven. I literally got her a pair of charcuterie board earrings for, for Christmas. They were beautiful by the way, um, but whatever. So I have my log of mozzarella over here that I kind of want to keep as a log. And it very nicely like along the edge here. So I'm kind of gonna slide it off. So sticky, doesn't really move, does it? I kind of want to line this just like with a simple line of prosciutto. I just need my scissors. There they are. Pre-sliced and ready to eat. Imported from Italy, baby. That's the way I like it. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever like, just had plain prosciutto, like not on anything. Actually, I'd kind of like to roll this. Wouldn't that be nice? So like this, it's just like extra thin bacon. No, is this just one little prosciutto roll left over? Oh no. Hmm. I don't know what I was expecting. It just tastes like bologna. Kinda, I don't want like any one berry in one area. I kinda wanna intersperse them a bit, so. These are like my, my fillers, like that. And, oh, I wish these like just fit so beautifully in the middle, but they do not. Maybe they do. I just want to use these as like a barrier to stop this salami from falling apart. Would it be funny if I just kind of shoved little salami sticks kind of poking out all over? No, I hate that. Oh God, it looks horrible. You know, for my first ever charcuterie board, I don't think it's bad. I mean, it was a lot um, and I don't love it. I think there needs to be more meat. I ended up just scrapping the rest of the salami. I don't know what else to do with it. So um, not bad. I also have crackers these but again since I'm not serving immediately um, I kind of just want to leave these and I'll just kind of pop them over top of his name uh, probably tomorrow just like line them up um, and we can keep kind of refilling as it goes but I think it's quite nice arguably there she is all cling wrapped and ready to go I am excited to see my friend's reaction I'm gonna see if I can get that on camera and if not we're just gonna cut to an outro no bulldogs Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's special. <laughs> what? That is amazing. Happy Please. birthday. That is amazing. I yeah. want to eat it really badly. That's why I need to do, do it now. Can we eat it now? Can we eat it now? Did you, where'd you put the bag of clothes? Downstairs with all the rest of the time. Okay. The green dog. So good. I forgot to film an outro, but hopefully you liked what you saw. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again, and hope to see you then. Bye.